caught out in Laguna Madre and we're uh, fishing down in South Padre. Uh, we wader fish and sometimes, well tonight we were actually fishing kayaks. So I'm going to show you how to fillet a red drum. The bigger the drum, uh, the tougher the skin and the tougher the meat. So you have to be kind of patient. And uh, as I was cleaning one, I just cleaned one that was 30 and a half inches. And uh, pretty tough, pretty tough even for, these are uh, blades that I bought specifically for saltwater fish. These blades are, um, I think these are 10 inch blades and the ones I had before were 7 inch blades I think. Uh, basically I'm going to cut into the, I'm going to cut into the meat, the meat, there's, the majority of the meat runs above the rib cage here and then when the rib cage comes to an end there will be a nice uh, fillet in this part in the back towards the tail. But there's good meat up here along the dorsal fin. So this is the dorsal fin, I think, on the back here. So I cut in. I can feel the rib cage with the tip of my knife. Now I've cut in, and now I'm going to go down the, the fin. As you can see, the uh, scales on these fish are like armor. Now red drum is really, really uh, delicious to eat. They have a lot of blood in the meat. So what I do is I'm going to soak these in salt water overnight. And then tomorrow I'm actually going to have Dan, who is with me fishing, he's my, he's an editor, uh, fishing um, connoisseur, I guess you'd say, or, or uh, he's an editor and um, a fish uh, aficionado, I guess you'd call him, and he's filming for me today. We didn't film catching these fish because we were having too much fun fishing, but we are going to get out and film some. This is the rib cage right here. Not much meat on the outside of the rib. But what you do want to do is get in tight and trim away as much as you can. Now I'm feeling kind of where the spine is. I'm going to run this knife right along the spine. And I just cut through here, and I'll show you on the next one how to not cut through the skin, and then I'll just flip it over. But I can pin this down with my finger. Now I'm going to run the knife right along the skin. Now these drum, their skin sticks tight to the meat. Really hard to separate the meat, not get silver skin on it. But do the best that you can here. You can see it's a little bit of silver skin on it, but pretty good. Now you can cook them with that uh, with that inside silver skin on them if you want, or you can trim that out. I usually trim out this dark red part because it's bloody, and so I'll take that silver skin off and I do that. And that's a pretty good size fillet. What I'll do before I cook it is there is a little bit of a there's a bone line right here. Uh, some bones that come off the uh, bottom of the or the rib cage that come into the fillet here, and I'm going to take a knife and trim that out. Actually, I'll trim that out right now. Just show you. I can feel them. You'll feel them with your fingers, and I can feel them. And there's a there's a line in there. And I'll trim those out.
we're at a condominium that I rented here in South Padre and I'm using their knives and I think I'm going to have to get a sharpening steel and their butchering knives okay so that little bit had some um, rib uh, had some uh, rib bones in it feel the meat it's all good alright there's not any bones in that so. I'm going to put this in salt water tonight and then I'm going to show, I'm going to have another video on how to uh, cook red drum. We're going to make it Cajun style blackened. Do the other side here. This time I'll try not to cut through the end of the tail and I'll show you how to flip them. Then I'm trying to find the rib cage. Uh, these drum look like freshwater drum, which most people don't eat, but they are very good. And these are one of the most popular sports fish on the Gulf, especially if you, know, if you find them in the flats. Um, we were fishing in this uh, Laguna Madre, and we were fish in the Laguna Madre. Most of the Laguna Madre is anywhere from a foot to three and a half feet deep, so it's a really unusual uh, place to fish. It's really unique for any any fishing um, area I ever go to. I really love it. I like wader fishing in it too, but it's it's a kind of a freaky feeling being 300 or 400 yards from shore and be in a water. Okay, as you can see, I left the skin here as, at the tip of the tail. It helps me anchor um, the, the fillet so I don't have it slipping out of my hand. I'm trying to go close. You can see here I'm getting a little bit of silver skin on it, a little bit of the underside. I want to try to avoid that, but I want to get as much meat as I can. skin but we got all the scales off and you can cook that when you blacken it and just, just separate that off but we'll trim it off with a knife before we blacken it. Instead of using that little butcher knife I'm going to use this knife to get those ribs out. Let's see if I got all those. 
because again these are bones that come up off the rib uh, off the rib cage sideways and towards the skin. I think you got it all. All right, it's a pretty big fillet. And that's what you get. Red fishing, a uh, nice fillet. And tomorrow what we're going to do is I'm going to make blackened um, Cajun style red drums. It's going to be awesome. Okay, obviously my wife is a wonderful woman because she lets me clean fish in the kitchen. Uh, you can clean fish on a, uh, what I do outside a lot is um, back home I have a, um, I have one of those plastic um, um, folding tables that has a plastic top on it. Makes for a great cutting board. And uh, I always talk about um, your remains. Um, if you've got garbage that's not going to come and you live in a warm environment that you can always put them in bags and put them in the freezer. I don't know if that's really the case in South Padre because that's a lot of remains. I'd probably have a freezer full of remains and not enough room for my fillets. Uh, one nice thing about South Padre is, is they do have an area that's got a lot of pelicans and the pelicans love uh, leftover fish remains. But um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll bag all these up and, and get rid of these, dispose of these. And then I'll clean up this mess so that my wife neither has to look at it nor smell it.